traveling to the east side, like all the way to First Avenue is a bitch. Because the last stop you can get off at is Lexington. Ain't no bus over here. I'm gonna get my second vaccine. And I'm fucking late. I'm hungry. This is like some old money over here. Apartments with no, no elevator. Just vibes. It's such a lovely day outside. I am vexed. Let me take this stupid ass sticker off. Um, I'm vaccinated. Those two. Um, my arm hurts a little bit, but nothing too crazy. Um, I'm about to go food shopping. I'm all on the east side, so I feel like I should walk. It's also hot. I oh, got on sandals. Look how cool this. Um, so you get the soap, water. Friday everyone, I just took a bath, um, I ate some pesto pizza, I wanted to drink some wine but I'm really, really tired, okay guys, so it's 10.26pm and I'm gonna cross my fingers because I am completely out of melatonin, my camera is dying so I'm gonna charge that and start winding down and go to bed. I'm praying to baby Jesus himself that I will not be woken up. So. I have a face mask on. <laughs> My body just feels like really tired. And then I took a, I drank a little smoothie with um, pineapple, cucumber, ginger, and lemon just to flush out my system. So I've canceled all my plans. I really want some lo mein right now. Everyone said the second dose was gonna hit them, and my old roommates, who I called today, I was like, "Girl, the day that okay, the day that they got the second vaccine, her and her sister, the old roommates, they took me home. We went to go shopping. No, we like literally ran a thousand errands. The errands. They were up at like eight. They were with their vaccine. Came back, come get me." We had breakfast, so we bought a bike, we went shop, like we did so many things, so I guess I was just consuming, because I don't know anybody else who got Pfizer, I feel like everyone else got Moderna. And they were fine. Maybe it's because they're white, I don't know. But they were fine, so I just assumed that I would be too. When I first got the vaccine, I was fine, but everyone did say the second dose hits you like a ton of bricks, and that's how I'm feeling like I just wanna crawl back in bed. From a nap like an hour ago to a shower some perfume on get myself together but i don't want to put on any clothes because it's fucking hot it's currently 79 degrees in my apartment and i think it's like 90 outside um so yeah i pretty much slept yesterday relaxed and 
rejuvenated. I had to have multiple pep talks with myself about resting because I kept feeling like, oh, I need to be outside and do all these things. And I'm like, no, girl, you don't have to do what the rest of New York City is doing. Plus, it's probably super overcrowded because this is like, I would say this was the first full week that New York City's had of consistent warm weather. I prefer a gradual level of warmth instead of like straight on summer. I like to ease into it, but rest. And so I'm so glad that I scheduled to have this vaccination on a Friday and I was able to rest because if I had to have to go to work the next day, I would have been, it would have been awful. But I took the golden flu Tylenol. I had another Tylenol in the house um, that I took this morning. And so I'm slowly but surely getting there. I've been trying to up my water intake. I made smoothies. I've pretty much eaten pretty okay healthy, even though I did have a bodega sandwich. I mean, you know how that is, New York style. But I feel like I'm getting better. Um, so yeah. In today's episode of what the fuck is Sherry doing? I'm at the park. I'm working on this workbook called Self Love Workbook for Women. Release self doubt, build self compassion, and embrace who you are. And so I had a really rough morning and I was literally crying in the middle of my work shift, which gonna move on from that and I was like trying to do something different because I feel like I have my same oh birds pretty um same two responses to life's ups and downs and none of them are healthy and so I just figured I would switch it up so um I have not been exercising consistently, so I just figured I would come outside and get some fresh air. Because during my lunch break, I went outside to run an errand, and um, the sun changed my mood. Someone left a comment on the last video, and was like, well, we know we needed an update. So I woke up to use the bathroom, and... I try to go back to sleep, nothing happens. Get on my phone per usual. Then I start falling asleep. They are now not making the verbal noise. I can just hear the bed thumping. And as soon as I turn on the camera, they stop. Um, it is currently 104 on a Thursday. The schedule switched up. This piece of artwork is so cool. I gotta do it with that. I love Greek mythology. All right, I've been in here for like two hours. I'm changing. I need to be really bad. But. Essentially, I went to go see a primary. Essentially, I went to go see a primary doctor so that I can just get tested for everything because I'm like queen of vitamins, but I don't want to take vitamins that I don't need. And so I asked him to test me for everything, uh, STDs and all that. I have nothing impending, but it's just like one of those things where you're like, just, just be prepared. So let me put on my clothes now. Who the hell is up there? Only the rich and the elite. Okay, happy Saturday everybody. It's about five o'clock and I am about to edit this video and then record a separate video for um, my TikTok because I am doing a campaign with a brand called Shaperman. Need some shapewear of two items and so I pretty much need to make a video for TikTok because that's where the campaign is for. Um, in terms of keeping up with me, obviously I am the most active on my social media handles, Instagram and TikTok. If you want to see quick beauty, lifestyle, beauty and makeup, skincare, all that content, the quick stuff is always on TikTok um, because I just need to be more consistent on this since the following is a little bit bigger. 
I prefer doing vlogs on this channel and like my little talk throughs and stuff like that um, and then Instagram I feel like I just post pictures on there from time to time but it's, it's I, I post a lot of funny shit on my stories I do need to be more active on there but it just doesn't push me I am more involved in TikTok and essentially YouTube I'm on Twitter sometimes but I really just be looking on there for up-to-date information about the world uh, depending on what you're looking for in terms of keeping up with me the choice is yours as always um i may do a video for the shape room on here or maybe just include it in the vlog but that is going to wrap it up the next vlog is pretty much going to be preparation for mexico in mexico and then returning home so the vlog will not be up next friday i think i'm going to make a schedule for um the vlogs please comment down below if there's like a a day you feel like because i'm thinking saturday is the best day to upload um from the week prior well, i just did the campaign for this um brand and it doesn't fit like the bra is nice let me show you guys i'm not trying to be naked on youtube but the bra is nice it's got a nice material no wire and it has straps it can adjust um i could have sized up another one but the biker shorts which are what i was really really important to me which were these um they i really like the elastic i will i want to say some positive things because i don't want to say anything bad. i'm super duper thankful that they sent me this um because i'm such a small micro influencer if I, I it's so weird to call myself that but essentially what i do is micro influence um and it was dope because they found me on tiktok because my email address is on there and i think that's that i should wrap up the video and talk about that also let me put on a phone. super duper excited to create content um I feel like while I love beauty and I love um, makeup and skincare, I feel like I'm more of a lifestyle influencer and I like so many things. So trying to have a target audience is kind of hard for me, even though technically I am, my niche is makeup, my niche is beauty. And I'm fine with that because essentially that is fine for me to what to be known about or known for. But... I like vlogging a lot. Making a video for a brand that sent me shaper was just like up my alley because I'm a plus size girl and I'm fine if things jiggle but it always looks better when things are slim tight and trim and looking right. So I was excited, they found me. I thought it was bullshit at first and I was like, what the hell is going on? And then I realized that they had been a legit company and they emailed me I think like early May or middle of May got my shipment and um that was my fault i probably should have looked a little bit more into sizing and I, I because i don't wear shapewear that much i don't know that you need to size down or you need to be your exact size because so it can slim it up um but i know now um i'm gonna email the company love to bring the content more to youtube because it's in long form and your girl likes to talk if you're watching my channel you know that already but i would love to collaborate with more brands there are any other brands that are interested in collaborating with me my instagram my all my social media and my email addresses are listed below and i would love to get to know you guys